It's a great day to be on the hilltop. Welcome Mustang and Mustang fans. Pleased to welcome our platform party on my right, uh, Athletics Director Steve Orsini. To his left, Coach Larry Brown, and the person I welcome to the microphone, our 10th President, Dr. R. Gerald Turner. Thank you, Brad. It's great to see all of you out here on such a beautiful day. It's a great day to make an announcement in front of Moody Coliseum, and we're delighted that you could be here with us. Uh, we're also pleased to have a number of our Board of Trustees that are with us for this occasion. Uh, first is, uh, if you'd stand, remain standing, David Miller, would you please stand, Paul Lloyd, Mark Craig, Brad Brookshire, any other board members that I didn't see walking through here. Thank all of you for being here. As all of you know, this event comes on the heels of a great Founders Day weekend, and really Founders Day week. Uh, in which we broke ground on, for the new residential commons complex just south of here and celebrated the growth of our entire south campus, including in that Moody Coliseum. In fact, the renovation and expansion of Moody is our first move toward competitiveness in the Big East. But renovation and expansion of Moody uh, will begin in August. The construction you see around us right now is preparation for that project. But highlights include a renovated main entry lobby, a much larger and brighter concourse with raised ceilings, a north side expansion including a club, loge boxes, private group and group suites, as well as office and meeting spaces. And all of this is to be completed just in time for our first Big East game in January of 2014. So those are to be, all that's to be finished by January of 2014. It was the success of our football program under June Jones that gave us the opportunity to join the Big East Conference. June Jones, where are you here? <laughs> to my right. All right, back here. Thank you, June. Three years, three bowl games got the attention of those looking for expansion opportunities for the Big East. Everybody knows, however, how seriously basketball is played in this conference. We pledged at the time that we would be joining that we would make our program competitive with our fellow members of the Big East. The announcement last week of our new head basketball coach should remove any doubt as to our determination to be among the leaders of the Big East. So now to introduce our newest Mustang is Athletic Director Steve Orsini. Thank you, President Turner. Thank you everyone for being here today. Isn't it a great day to be a Mustang? Before I introduce our really special guests, there's a few other special guests I'd like to recognize. Uh, most importantly, some of our uh, basketball student athletes are right here. They're the recipients of of uh, the teaching that'll go take place on the court. Thank you for being there. The others are in class, as they should be. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, our women's, our head women's basketball coach, Rhonda Rumpole, is here. Rhonda, thanks for being here. Coach Brown invited a uh, close friend and a close friend of ours, Coach Doherty. Coach Doherty, thank you for being here. And another close friend of Coach Brown and uh, Coach Self, Bill Self from Kansas. Thank you for being here, Coach Self. I really appreciate it. It is a special honor for me to be here today to talk about the process a little bit uh, because there's a, there's a great story to be told here. Uh, if you remember when we went after a football coach and uh, Dr. Turner aptly uh, recognized Coach Jones and what he's meant to this university. Uh, we said, let's follow that same process. Now, if I want to remind you, it, it was a very uh, deliberate, a very comprehensive process that took us 71 days. Um, I'd like to think they were the best 71 days we've spent in SMU athletics in a long time. And, and to get that results, well, uh, I may have refined that a little bit because it took us 37 days to get what I feel is the June Jones for men's basketball in Coach Brown. 
Uh, we set our goal high, very high, because SMU strives for excellence in everything it does. We found an unbelievable amount of interest in our job. And even I thought it'd take a while to make sure we get this right. As we kept telling ourselves, we got to get this right. I wanted to make sure I talked to everybody from Coach Self, Coach Calipari, and the many other people that are in Coach Brown's coaching tree. I learned a lot of new terms today you know, this, during this process. And, and what I was so impressed was the connections of college basketball, not to mention the NBA, and Coach Brown. Uh, they've been well documented. But uh, we did narrow the field down, uh, and I believe we absolutely hit our mark in the Hall of Fame basketball coach in Coach Larry Brown. We were never rejected by anyone. We made one offer and we got one acceptance. And I think that's important that you know that because that's what SMU deserves. That's, that recognizes, that states what SMU's value is out there in the athletics community. And, and because we have a great university, we have a great city, we're going into the Big East, which represents the best in college athletics. We have the Crum Basketball Center. We have the Moody Coliseum and its renovations. We have a great location in, in the middle of a recruiting hotbed in, in the North Texas and region of this country. And now we have Coach Brown. We have everything in place now that's necessary to become a top 25 program except one thing. We need to make Moody madness. We need you, we need the students, we need the faculty, we need the staff, we need the community to come out, the alumni to come out and support our efforts to take SMU basketball back to the top 25 status that we've been in the past and well beyond that. So without any further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce one of the greatest college basketball coaches and pro basketball coaches in the history of the game, Coach Larry Brown.